Another issue, big one, is immigration. As Vice President, you were tasked with addressing the root causes of migration uh, in southern countries and northern part of Central America. The northern part of, 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 yeah. of, uh, of Central America that deals with, that affects the southern border of the U.S. Mm -hmm. During the Biden-Harris administration, there were record numbers of illegal border crossings. Why did the Biden-Harris administration wait three and a half years to implement? My value around what we need to do to secure our border. That value has not changed. So what is it that you plan on doing with the border as soon as you get into office? You're in office. What's your plan with the border? I spent two terms as the Attorney General of California prosecuting transnational criminals. Yes, yes, let me stop you. Um, and I'll reiterate the question uh, like you always do with your work history and your famous uh, AG spot in California. What do you have planned for our border? Organization, violations of American laws regarding the passage, illegal passage of guns, drugs, and human beings across our border. My values have not changed. So that is the reality of it. And four years of being vice president, I'll tell you one of the, the, the aspects to your point is traveling the country extensively. In the news conference here in Guatemala City, you, you had a message for would-be migrants, don't come. Why should they believe you when they, when they know that people are getting in? I've been working on this issue for a very long time. And the kind of violence and danger that is associated with that track, especially when we're talking about from Guatemala through Mexico to the United States, it is extremely dangerous. Well, because they simply cannot address their basic needs or the needs of their family to stay. Okay, so part of what we have to do to address the issue is also deal with that piece of it. I'm in charge, for example, of, of, of coordinating a what we call a root causes strategy. What are the causes of people leaving? Um, we have now raised $3.2 billion to help the folks in those countries stay by giving them opportunities for them to take care of themselves in their home country, which is frankly what they want to be able to do. We are looking at a, a, a situation where people are fleeing because of hunger, because of the hurricanes, because of the pandemic. So the reason I am here is, is to address those issues, knowing that the people who are here for generations, they want to stay, they don't want to leave. Why not visit the border? Why not see what Americans are seeing in this crisis? Well, we are going to the border. We have to deal with what's happening at the border. There's no question about that. That's not a debatable point. You made mention that you have a few different stances as it, uh, as the concern of the border. I want to know, uh, let me stop you. Sorry. Let me stop you again. Um, I want to know why talking about the border is not a debatable point. Although many of us see what it is, it's happening. Why can we not debate that? But we have to understand that there's a reason people are arriving at our border and ask what is that reason and then identify the problem so we can fix it. Please. So what specifically are you offering these countries you're visiting? What, is, there, yeah. is there a quid pro quo? If you do this, we'll do this? No, it, it's not about quid pro quo. It's simply about understanding, if, if nothing else, that the, the return on our investment is the same return on your investment that if you have a neighbor on your block where you grew up who's having a hard time, it's in the best interest not only of your neighbor but yourself to, might, to help them out, right? So how quickly does this change what we see at the border? There's not going to be a quick fix. President Biden, as vice president, led a very similar effort. Mm -hmm. What's significantly different about what you're doing this time? I'm building off of what the president, then Vice President Joe Biden, uh, did at that time. Part of what we were doing was I've asked Microsoft to partner with us on what we can do to get people access to banking systems through technology and basically help them with their, their, their digital connectiveness. Just quickly put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans 
to visit the border. I, at some point, you know, it, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I mean, I'm here in Georgia. I think somebody told me 17 times since I've been vice president in Georgia alone. I believe it is important to build consensus. Kamala Harris, it's up good debate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kamala, for your time on this uh, critical issue of the border crisis.